Hi, for step three in our journey, uh, we have to solve ranking report trauma. And what happens is, uh, particularly in the customer profitability ranking report, we see at the bottom best customers because they're big in sales and margin dollars and pretty good margin percent perhaps, but their cost of service out of control. So they're actually a big loser and that's a shock. And the reason it's a shock is it shocks our core economic because we thought that everything was about volume. In other words, we just got more margin dollar all of our costs were fixed as opposed to 80% actually being acutely variable. Um, so we can't believe that you know this isn't good. And we, we still want to think that right now, in this moment, every one of our costs for this business is it's here. We're all here. We're all getting paid, health insurance, et cetera. So every dollar margin counts in the minute right now as opposed to, well, wait a minute, why don't we turn lose-lose into win-win and get 20% more volume? We don't even, can't get past the emotional shock. Secondly, you know, salespeople typically are paid to not believe what they're seeing. If they're paid on margin dollars, margin percent, they are grabbing their wallet with both hands and freaking out. So how do we, how do we, how do we deal with this problem? Um, it also, number two here, discounts the wisdom of the leaders, the veterans, the experts. In other words, when we start to look at the bottom of the report, and then we right click and we look at, you know, the, all the uh, the invoices ranked for most profitable, unprofitable, and look at the detail on the unprofitable emergency order items, and we look at all the SKUs that a given customer bought from the most profitable, the unprofitable, and we start to build scenarios of what's really going on. This is new territory. You know, most people in distribution have never looked through this lens. They've never looked into this world. And, you know, people look at, to the big guys to sort of have the answers. And the big guys always had the answers because they'd been around forever and know how things work in this industry. So it's very difficult for us to go from being expert to beginner uh, in front of other people asking just honest, dumb questions. So what happens is uh, people will immediately start to nitpick the cost to serve model. They'll say basically, you know, gotcha, this isn't perfect. We're overstating this, we're understanding, look at the allocation. The allocation doesn't really take into account this dynamic variable, you know, whatever. It isn't perfect. Therefore, let's go back to the status quo is what they're saying. In other words, this system isn't perfect, so let's go back to financial management, which is magnitudes less perfect than this one. But, you know, what they're really just saying is, I don't want to change. So what happens is by nitpicking the model, uh, you know, I'm thinking now in terms of waypoint relationship, uh, you know, editing this, changing that, whatever, five to seven repetitions, rerunning it, re-ranking it, realizing, my gosh, the rankings never change. Super winners are always super winners and super losers are super losers. You know, plus or minus, you know, 10, 15 percentage points, but they're still super su super each way. So we start to comfort zone. We're sort of getting ready to sort of say, you know, I'm starting to accept that all the costs are real. There is no free lunch, that actually all these costs are quite variable. And if we weren't doing these activities, we could be doing other activities, but we're too busy doing losing activities to do proactive winning activities. So people even start to believe that, you know, if, if we if we pruned, we could grow. If we weeded, we could feed. Not that we have to, because they also start to cover its own the dynamic upside of being able to turn lead to gold. Um, also, we start to realize that, you know, 70% accuracy on our model is probably good enough. Not that every quarter we won't tune it a little more and get to 75 and 80 and 85. No model can ever be perfect. The world's just too many variables changing too much and so forth. But again, if a customer is losing $10,000, we could make an, you know, well, but, 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 and we could get get the loss down to 7,000, but they're still losing 7,000. And we could say, yeah, but maybe, 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 and we could get up to 13,000. Who cares? It's a loser. And if we do a P&L for them, we can identify how they are losing on TPC elements, uptime elements, their next, next step value chain satisfaction elements. And so we've got a story, a conversation to go out and, and start to change of, of lead to gold. Um, and then we have to let people off the hook. I mean, it's all about ego and saving face. That's just reality as human beings, part of the scene. If the best reps are protected, in other words, okay, just relax. You can take your hands off your wallet and you can open your ears and your eyes and your mind and listen to repetitions, variations of the theme because, you know, you're really good and whatever you made last year will guarantee that that's what you make going forward. We'll put you on a guaranteed salary 
but in the future to make more money it's going to be based on being part of the service value chain solution uh, selling approach uh, where we've got a lot of upside uh, so the, the 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 run could be pretty good for a while until it matures uh, and we also have to say to our veteran sort of leaders managers and forth you know it's all right to become a new beginner and say you know what we're blazing a trail. There isn't a map. No one's ever done this before. We didn't ride a bike right the first time. So let's fail forward and, and learn as we go and figure it out. Not that you you know shouldn't be watching all these videos a bunch of time and getting some tips from other people further down the journey. Not that many people have made it so far, but um, but certainly you have to let yourself off the hook for be, having all the, the immediate answers as opposed to, well, that's a good question. Let's live with it for a while. Let's live into it for a while. Let's do a cheap experiment in that space and see what we figure out. Um, so that's try those are the ideas for getting over step three, the the uh, the, the trauma of the, the ranking reports. And now we're going to go look at the next one, which is step four. What are the causes behind the super winners and the losers? Thank you.